This is our National Command Center. This is where we lead all national deployment efforts, particularly with our federal contracts. OEM serves as the National Medical Transport Contractor for the federal government. The primary function that we normally use NATCOM for is in support of that contract. Obviously in disaster response, whether it be field-based or here at our National Command Center, communications is everything. Those could be voice communications, those could be data communications. We've got an area of our operations that's monitoring every moving GMR piece of apparatus, be it on the ground, in the air, on the fire ground. Some of the areas that we go into are very remote. They could have been affected by a hurricane and have lost total infrastructure. Part of my role as a branch chief is ensuring that all of our providers, ambulances, helicopters, and paratransit vehicles make it to the disaster area. We have to know where they are. When we're sending the closest unit to a 911 call in an area that we don't even know of, we've never heard of, seeing the location on the map accurately is very important to sending the closest unit to a call. Prior to October of 2018, GMR disaster operations were utilizing a legacy cellular provider. Hurricane Michael came along in October and presented us with challenges that we hadn't faced before. We found not only towers had been damaged, the backhaul had been damaged. Internet provision to towers was down. Our cell phone, our communications capabilities was essentially gone. We were dark. We were forced to migrate back to analog solutions. And when I say analog solutions, we were dispatching on sticky notes. There were no street signs. You lost a lot of your waypoints. You may recognize something. It was significant enough that those things were gone too. If you don't know where you're going, if you don't know what you're looking for, obviously it's a significant problem. The phone call that I received from the field is a phone call I don't ever want to get again. That was the COO calling me from downrange with our providers saying, nothing works here except FirstNet. He was calling me from a borrowed FirstNet phone because his phone wasn't on FirstNet at the time. We've since fixed that. I immediately engaged our FirstNet representative. His response to me was exactly what I expected it to be and exactly what I've come to expect from the folks at FirstNet. He said, what do you need? When do you need it? And how can we help? I said, I need phones and I don't need them tomorrow. I need them now. And he said, give me a couple of hours, I'm on this. FirstNet folks showed up not only with equipment, they showed up with a team of personnel to provision that equipment. It immediately enabled our dispatchers to communicate with our field providers. FirstNet's crisis and disaster response, in my opinion, are second to none. And it's one of the things that I value the most about GMR's relationship with FirstNet. When the chips are down, FirstNet's going to be there to support me, my providers, my caregivers, my leadership.